Okay, this is the big question of the night. Um, what's the difference between human beings and cats? I'm sure that's been uh, as much uh, of a worry to you as it has been to me over the last 40 years. But after 40 years research, the good news is that I do have an answer. It's to do with problem solving. Human beings like to solve problems. We solve problems all the time, whether we're scientists or engineers, doctors, lawyers, uh, politicians, mums, dads, we spend a lot of time solving problems. Geeks, this is a geek event, geeks love solving problems. Put some geeks together in a room and before long they'll be off solving problems which don't even have problems that don't even exist, they'll be finding solutions to. They love solving problems, so that's the difference. Uh, whereas cats, I can confidently tell you from my research, they don't do so much problem solving. This is our cat, uh, this, our cat does a lot of this, um, and to be honest, I'm not that impressed with his attitude to problem solving. I keep trying to have words with him about it, but to be honest, he doesn't listen. Uh, quite often, um, he'll uh, just ignore me altogether and, and fall asleep, which you know I'm not too impressed with. But one area where we could learn, I think, from him is he's very good with his neighbours. Here he is uh, hanging out with one of his neighbours and doing things together, which I think is part of the community issue which the previous speaker and myself also want to talk about. Um, so, back to human beings. How do we solve problems? Well, we use technology. We use a lot of technology to solve problems, but technology on its own is not necessarily good enough for solving problems. Technology has its downside as well as its upside. So, it's all a question of how we use technology as to whether or not technology is going to be good. Even digital technology, which is all fluffy and nice and supposed to connect us together and to help us to communicate, doesn't necessarily work, it all depends on how we use it. So, however, there are some very, very good examples of using digital technology to create community. Radio 4, Sunday night, uh, in business, uh, Peter Day, uh, the sharing economy, did anybody listen to it? Yeah. Yeah. Really good example of using technology for bringing people together in the sharing economy. Airbnb, TaskRabbit, Good Gym, excellent uh, idea. It connects runners with people who are lonely and isolated um, and enables them to come together and form some sort of community. And that's what we want to do at Neighbours Can Help. Helping neighbours to help each other. We want to be part of the sharing economy. Uh, we have de designed a website to connect neighbours to each other. So it, it has the facility to enable you to post uh, needs and offers of help and we try to bring those two together within the neighbourhood community. So there's lots of different categories, it can be anything you like, but we're trying to unlock um, the possibility for neighbours to interact and help each other more than they otherwise would because of the traditional British reserve which keeps them apart. We also have a simple groups facility which is easier than it, uh, setting up say a Facebook group. Uh, so it can be hopefully bring people together to do activities like gardening or gym or running. We're part of the National Lottery bid for Sheffield to the Aging Well Fulfilling Lives um, bid, which is hoping to address the major problem of loneliness and isolation in big cities. We're one of the uh, core group members on that. We're working in Sheffield with community groups, churches, local forums, the council, housing associations trying to find ways to enable needs to be met that otherwise wouldn't be met within communities and to create long, uh, more uh, self-sustaining communities. We've got lots of challenges, growing, sustaining an online community, very difficult. Getting critical mass, really difficult. Funding and financial issues for sustainability is really difficult. We've had wonderful support from the Nominate Trust, great organisation, £160,000 grant funding. But similar organisation in the States has had equity funding of $100 million and we are not jealous at all. <laughs> jealousy is a bad thing. We're not jealous. This guy will tell you jealousy is not a good thing. Uh, we like what this guy has to say a lot of the time. Uh, we live very close together so our prime purpose in this life is to help others. Well that pretty much says, says it all really. That's where we're coming from. We are trying to make that easier for people to do because we know that people like to help each other but sometimes it's difficult to knock on a neighbour's door and say can I help you if they've not asked for help. So that pretty much is where we're coming from. 
Thanks for listening and thanks for looking.